The winner is Sophia Loren. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Sophia Loren. I hope you're ready to take a peek inside the homes of legendary actress Sophia Loren because we're about to tour her lavish houses, spanning from Rome to sunny South Florida and even all the way to Geneva. Sophia Loren is truly a timeless beauty and Academy Award winning star who took over Hollywood in her prime. And with all that success, you better believe that she's lived in some absolutely incredible homes over the years. From a mansion gifted by her husband to a Swiss apartment where she lives now, this iconic star has stayed in some unforgettable paths. Come along as we go way back to vintage Sophia, then fast forward to more recent times to see how one of the world's most glamorous figures lived along the way. Let's get started. Let's kick things off by going all the way back to Sophia Loren's modest beginning. She actually wasn't born into wealth at all. The star we know as Sophia Loren was born Sophia Villani Schigolone, born to her Naples, Italy. She grew up in the coastal town of Pozzoli, raised solely by her mother in a cramped apartment she shared with multiple family members. The family struggled financially and lived through extremely difficult times during World War II. Young Sophia experienced poverty, hunger, and homelessness during the the war, when her family went days without food or basic resources. Even once the war ended, the family continued to live humbly in a small apartment in Naples. But despite the tiny quarters and limited means, Fia's mother encouraged her daughter's dream of becoming an actress from a very young age. At just 14 years old, Sophia blossomed into a stunning young woman, and with her mother as her manager, she was able to leave home and pursue her passion. Mother and daughter traveled to Rome together when Sophia was 15 to try and make it in the entertainment industry. Though she came from next to nothing, Sophia Loren would soon become the biggest star in the world, living in true luxury. But she never forgot her roots, later saying, I'm definitely European, better still, I'm Neapolitan. When you've lived in America as I have, you'd never want to be without an American style kitchen again. Despite her small beginning, Sophia would end up living in some of the grandest homes around over the course of her career. Now that we know about her modest roots, let's take a look at Sophia's first lavish home. After marrying producer Carlo Ponti in 1957, the couple needed a love nest to call their own. Carlo promised his new bride the world, apparently even pledging to gift her the most beautiful house in the world. I'd say he delivered on that promise when the pair purchased an incredible 16th century mansion in Rome in 1960. The sprawling estate covered a massive 20 acres in one of the most elite parts of the city. Just imagine the glory of this estate back in its heyday. Built in 1570, this palatial pad had it all. We're talking numerous rooms, including a luxurious guest house, an art gallery, a private home cinema, stables, two huge marble staircases, and get this, multiple fireplaces. There were five ensuite bedrooms, including the master suite, which had direct access to the terrace and overlooked the gardens. There's also a library and a sunroom. There was also a huge swimming pool for lounging by, surrounded by terraces and opulent gardens. Sophia lived here for years throughout the 60s and start of the 70s, and in 1964, Life magazine photographer Alfred Einstein visited Sophia for an exclusive shoot inside the Grand Villa. The photos provide an incredible glimpse into just how lavish her lifestyle was during her peak fame. The home was nothing short of an old Hollywood palace. In its glory days, this was one of the most enviable celebrity mansions around. It was the epitome of luxury living in Rome. Between the priceless artwork, antique furnishings, and the sheer grandeur of the home's proportions, this Italian estate was fit for a queen, or an Oscar winner like Sophia Loren. No wonder it was dubbed one of the most beautiful houses in the world. From her Roman palace, let's fast forward to 1987 when Sophia gave Architectural Digest a peek inside her Florida residence. After years of living in lavish European homes, the actress opted to scoop up some sunny real estate in the States. 
She purchased an apartment in the exclusive Williams Island neighborhood of Florida, an area actually designed to emulate the charm of the French Riviera Village's Sophia Newell. Developers even brought her on as a consultant for the chic waterfront project. Sophia explained her home in Florida was meant to be a more low-key family getaway compared to her grander estate. She said, what I appreciate most when I'm not working is the chance to lead as normal a family life as possible. She wanted the interiors to have an informal vibe with a European European influence. Create that old world feeling in Florida, she shipped in many antique furnishings and beloved pieces from her homes overseas. The living room featured an alcove displaying some of Sophia's silver antiques, while an armchair from her Rome residence was a cozy addition. Sophia had painter Sergio Vacchi create new artwork to match pieces she already owned. There was a music room with her collection of awards, like her Best Actress Oscar. The dining room also boasted a bold Vacchi painting, chosen by her hubby Carlo Ponti. Sophia brought small touches too, like her vintage collection of handmade Italian pottery plates. Well, this Florida apartment didn't have that grandeur of her Roman villa, it showed off Sophia's refined style. After some drama involving legal charges against her husband Carlo in Italy, Sophia moved to Geneva, Switzerland in the 1980s and has called it home ever since. While few details are known about her current digs, a photo shoot for Annie Leibovitz for Vanity Fair granted a small glimpse into the icon's elegant apartment there. In an image when she was 80 years old, Sophia is pictured relaxing in her bedroom. Through the windows, you can admire picturesque mountain views. Other photos over the years have revealed Sophia's flair for interior design. On another picture photographed by Annie, it can be seen that she's standing in her living room with a grand piano visible. As she's enjoyed more privacy in recent decades, Sophia Loren keeps details of her Geneva abode mostly under wraps. But based on what we can see, her home is still as chic, refined, and comfortable as one would expect for the legendary actress. Sophia reflected later in life, when I think back on my life, sometimes I'm surprised that it's actually all true. I say to myself, one morning I'll wake up and find out that it's all just a dream. From growing up in poverty to becoming an Academy Award winning star with mansions around the world, Sophia Loren's life story is really like a fairy tale. It's amazing to see inside her houses through the years and how she's always stayed grounded. Sophia truly is one of the most glamorous and gifted stars of all time. That'll wrap up today's tour, but before we go, answer this question for me. With all the peaceful backdrops in Switzerland and the stunning nature, would that ever be a place that you'd like to call home? I think I would, but let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Care the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all next time. Bye.